The Handmade Heritage Day, it's a showcase day for the Handmade Heritage Project. We've had schools and community groups taking part in projects where they've been making artwork and making things with their hands, um, all to showcase today. And that's based on all of the industries that have been located here within the park, where people have manufactured or made things, such as the Aerodrome uh, and Rolls-Royce. I made this dream catcher, this leaf and this all ball. So we did some filming at Bedman School. We captured footage of them taking part in one of the heritage sessions with Roger from Back to the Front Project. This morning we've been looking at artefacts from World War One. We've been looking at some artifacts like helmets and medals. I did get to try on the helmet and there was also a whistle that we could blow. It's been like really nice of him to let us borrow and wear and, and touch these things. We also visited Breakspear School on one of their first sessions and that was working with the artist Angie Archer. They were looking at sort of woodland crafts and how that ties it into Leaves and Country Park. So I went into schools after the historian had visited and I did two different projects. One was making commemorative felted poppies with the children and also writing messages on bandages, connecting the children to the people who'd fought in the First World War and also making pots with another school. We also did some filming at the Bedmond Women's Institute where they've been working with an artist called Flea Cook and they've been making some memento pin cushions. We put together these workshops which I've been doing on a Friday morning with a group of women from the local area. This is what I've uh, made, which is a memorial heart for my aunt. She died late last year. We started off with crazy patchwork, which is a Victorian use of patchwork. We had to do the log cabin method, which I'd never done before. And they've made very individual, very beautiful versions of a set piece, really, which are personal. A sense of place is really important. I grew up in this village. I love it. We're going to hopefully continue to meet up and continue with our craft. The impact of this event today on the local residents is that it gives them an opportunity to come out actually meet people, look at displays, talk to them, but also learn so much more about our local community. The Heritage Lottery Fund is vital for events such as this to take place. You can see from the people that have attended this event how popular it is. We've had tremendous interest in the photographs that we've got on display. For instance, I just had somebody come up about half an hour ago telling me that they had photographs of the old Rolls-Royce factory before it was closed down. I was aware of the history of Leavesden Park through the work that I do for Watford Day Services and Leavesden Hospital. Some of our service users were involved in doing some of the uh, artwork for today. The artefacts on show I've enjoyed um, over in one of the stalls you have an aerial map of the whole of the grounds, that's very interesting, and some memorabilia back in, sort of back in the day, that was interesting to look at all the collectible items. People passing through, they just think that it's a, it's a park, but there was much more life. Livestock Hospital was the main employer of the village, you know, Abbots Langley, Kings Langley and so on. I used to work here on the maintenance at one time, and my mother worked here in the actual laundry. I had to visit quite a few of the wards to repair things, and some of these things I remember using, especially the keys. We had to go down to the actual pump at the bottom of the water tower, which is 200 foot under the tower itself. They've taken part in our Living History Walk, which was accompanied by actors in costume and some performances from local school children as well. So people are really, really engaged in what we've had going on. 
I think it's good to always know where you come from and the history of where you've lived. You know things that not everyone would know and it's great to bring up in conversation. Wonderful day out and a good way of learning about the, what the community is all about. It's important to show your own memories, to show that you've been here and you've had a look and for people in the future to look back on who's been here as well. Just really enjoyed seeing all the children coming along who participated in the project and they've been really enthusiastic to show their parents what they've made and one person came and said it's just really moving and wonderful that children are being really engaged actively in the history of the area.